Hello and welcome to the only channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And today's little video is going to be a lesson in how to boil eggs in a solar cooker. You might think that's not very good, a big deal, but you will learn something if you listen to this. Uh, when you use a solar cooker to boil an egg, you actually don't use water. Just put the eggs in there, they slowly heat up, and because it's sealed up and everything's moist in there, the egg gets done just like any other boiled eggs without using any water. But, something important, and I set this up, I went through a lot of trouble and <laughs> had to come up with this here display. If you notice, that egg, what's going on with the yolk? It's floating. Yeah, it's floating. Now, that's normally not an issue when you're boiling eggs because oil, the egg is jumping around, going back and forth, and when it's done, the yolk will be in the center because it's constantly being readjusted. But in a solar cooker, you don't actually use water. You just lay the eggs in there, you shut the door, and it's so moist it just cooks the egg just like a boiled egg without using any water whatsoever. And I'm going to show you, if you look at this, it's, uh, I think I just checked the thermometer, it was 52 degrees out here. Is that right? Is that what I said? I think so. Well, if you come look at this thermometer, even though it's winter, and it's cold. It is actually 320 degrees in there. Ooh. So that's enough to boil an egg. Now, if your egg is just laid in there, the time it takes for it to cook, the yolk is going to slowly float to the side of the egg that's up, and it's going to look like that. Problem with that, if you can see, that's the outline of the egg. There's the yolk right against it. Is that when you peel it, the yolk is going to be exposed. And if you take the egg upside down and shake it, the yolk will actually fall out. Because you know yolk ain't really connected in there. Uh -huh. If you're making pickled eggs, that's a big problem. Because when you, when you uh, stick your fork in some pickled eggs and just pull up a white and the yolk falls back out, that's just not palatable. Now for deviled eggs, this would be a pretty cool trick. If you take and boil a bunch of them like this and make deviled eggs out of the whole egg, people are going to be staring at that thing going, wow, how in the world did they get the yolk out of this egg without messing it up? So that, yeah, that might be one time you could use that. But here's a solution to the whole thing. Since we're not boiling them, eggs not jumping around, the center's not getting readjusted. Oh. Whoo! I don't know it's if you saw looking. that steam. I saw it. But anyhow, let me get my hand on the other side here. Ta-da! Look at that. They're ready to eat. But those eggs are sitting in a chicken feeder. That's right. That is a chicken feeder, regular galvanized steel chicken feeder from the uh, farm supply store. It holds eggs upright, keeps the yolk from sticking to the side. Basically, that's all that I did this video for, to teach you that one little fact. Love you. Bye.